We are lost. We do not know where to go. I pray that the whole world pressurizes Israel to end the war and release us. We are tired. We've been walking around without knowing where to go. Israel has vowed to press on with a powerful operation in Gaza's Rafah, even as calls mounted for it to hold off sending troops into the territory's overcrowded city. Now, Netanyahu has insisted Hamas battalions must be eliminated in the city. It's a claim that we've seen over and mm. over, we've heard over and over again. And this as Egyptian and Qatari mediators in Cairo are hoping to secure a ceasefire that would see more of the roughly 130 hostages still in Gaza released in potentially another swap. Of course, out of those 130, there are several dead bodies there as well. It includes that count. A Hamas source told a news agency AFP a dead a team was headed to Cairo to meet Egyptian and Qatari mediators the day after Israeli negotiators held talks with the mediators. CIA director William Burns had joined Tuesday's talks with David Barnier, head of Israel's Mossad intelligence service, which Egyptian media said had been mostly positive. Now, U.S. National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby called the negotiations constructive and moving in the right direction. Netanyahu said Israel would push for the release of hostages through strong military pressure and very firm negotiations. He said, and I'm going to quote here, I insist that Hamas drop their delusional demands and when they drop these demands, we can move forward. The United States rebuked Israel for demolishing the home of a Palestinian activist in East Jerusalem, saying it was its ally was damaging its own standing. Now, in Washington, State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the United States had condemned the demolition and, in fact, would encourage Israel to not target other homes. We condemn the demolition of Fakhri Abu Diab's home. Uh, he is a community leader in East Jerusalem. Uh, we believe that demolition not only obviously damages uh, his home and his family and the lives that they have built there, but the entire community who live in fear that their homes may be next. Um, this yeah. has been their family home for mm -hmm. generations. Uh, part of the structure dates back to before 1967. He has been an outspoken community leader, including against demolitions, and now his family has been displaced. The U.S. president has shielded Palestinians in the United States from deportation for 18 months. The U.S. president faces growing anger over his support for Israel's Gaza offensive in an election year. Biden signed an order saying the Palestinians should not be deported in light of the ongoing conflict and humanitarian needs on the ground in the Gaza Strip. Since the outbreak of the Israel-Hamas war, Hezbollah has traded near daily fire with Israeli troops with tens of thousands displaced on both sides. At least nine people, seven of them civilians, were killed on Wednesday in Israeli strikes on South Lebanon, while the Israeli army said it lost a soldier in cross-border rocket fire. More than 240 people have been killed in Lebanon, mostly from Hezbollah, but also including over 30 civilians. In Israel, the army says 10 soldiers and six civilians have been killed. French President Emmanuel Macron told Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that the Gaza death toll was intolerable and Israel's operations there must cease. The French leader stressed that a ceasefire agreement should be reached without further delay. He added such a deal should guarantee the protection of all civilians and the massive inflow of emergency aid. Now, during the visit to Jerusalem, German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock repeated Israel must provide corridors of protection in Rafa. She pitched for safe places where civilians can also be cared for medically. Speaking to reporters at the UN, the Arab League's permanent UN representative for February reaffirmed the group's key demands. They include an immediate ceasefire, unhindered humanitarian assistance and a prevention of any plan of transfer of the Palestinians from their land. The Arab League called on the UN Security Council to take action and decide on a humanitarian ceasefire resolution. We uh, reaffirmed the three main demands of the Arab group, which are an immediate ceasefire, an unhindered uh, humanitarian assistance, and a prevention of any plan of transfer of the Palestinians from their land.